Coach Mike Davis, later to be joined by a pair of players. Coach, if you could open it up with a statement, and then we'll take questions. Well, first, I thank God for this uh, opportunity uh, to lead this program. Uh, you know, a couple years ago, I didn't have a job, and Charlie really called me and offered me a job. And I'm just thankful that both he and the president entrusted this program in my hands. Uh, last year was a struggle for us as a basketball team. Similar to what Southern went through this year, we knew we couldn't go to the tournament. Uh, we, we thought we had the best team last year, uh, but Coach Banks did a terrific job of representing the squad in the tournament. And this year, I thought we had the best team in the league, uh, but Coach Banks did the best job coaching uh, this year in the uh, in the squad. So uh, I'm just, just really excited for the program. Uh, I'm really excited to be in the city of Houston. My family, we love being here, uh, love being in a place that uh, really appreciate uh, hard work and uh, the players that we have. They, some of them come from other places, uh, but they all uh, made a commitment to the program and made a commitment to, uh, to being coached. And that's the most important thing is coaching players who want to be coached. I think sometimes it's really hard on them. It may, be, it may look from afar that uh, I'm tough on them, but I know what it takes to be a champion. And it's my job to lead them and prepare them for the real world uh, because these guys can go out uh, and compete against other conferences for, for basketball opportunities. They can compete against other, other conferences for job opportunities in the real world. So as a leader, I have to prepare them for that. So I'm just proud of them. It's, 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 it's so wonderful for me to be a part of this program. Joining uh, Coach Davis to his right is Eric Murray, who finished with a game high 27 points, 10 rebounds. To his left is Jose Rodriguez, who added 13 points. Questions? Coach Richard, you worked three guys to half, down seven points. What was the feeling? Well, I, I, was, I, I was relaxed from the standpoint of our talent. I was disappointed in uh, some of my effort, but I, was, I knew we had a better team. Uh, our guys were so excited about being in a, in a position to uh, go to the tournament. And so the first half, I thought we played excited, uh, not nervous, but excited. And so at halftime, I just told our guys to settle down, relax, play. We played poorly in the first half from a, a team standpoint. I think we only down, what, six points, seven points to have, and that was in reach. And so we came out, we settled down, I think around the 10 minute mark, 13 minute mark, when we tied and took the lead. I know once we got the lead, it was going to be very difficult for us not to win the game if we made our free throws. And so <coughs> both of these guys, Eric Gannon and, and Jose, had a tremendous game. Eric was fantastic. Jose, and um, Noah Comfort, he's one of the better players in the country. And uh, today he showed why he won the best in the country in our conference. And so we, it was my job as a, as a leader to make sure that we came out the second half and stayed focused and, and uh, focused on winning the game more than anything else. Coach, we had talked earlier in the year about managing the expectation. The expectation after the first year, the way you ran through the conference was so high. I think a lot of times people underestimate how good this conference is. Uh, just kind of talk about how the, the, the path of getting from point A. We, we all knew that at the beginning of the season, especially with the addition of Eric, the potential was there, but, but navigating the course over a long, difficult season. Well, last year coming to the league, um, we, we went 16-2. Uh, this year, I think the coaches, the coaches in this league were really good this year. I mean, like, really good. Um, I could tell that they had really prepared over the summer for us. Uh, everybody we played, we, we got the A game. Uh, our chemistry wasn't there at the beginning of the conference play. We played really well at the conference. But once we got to the conference, uh, the chemistry kind of fell off a little bit. We lost six games in, in conference play, but all six came down to the last two minutes of the game. And when you get the, the game in two minutes, it's up to the other coach to coach you and do some things and you win the game the last two minutes. And so uh, we focused these guys. Uh, made a commitment, we took one game at a time. We won the last six conference games in a row. We 
finished up 12 and 6, second place outright. We had a really good Southern team on the road the last game of the season. Uh, the expectations should be out here at Texas. So this is the best job in the SWAC. Uh, great city. I love Houston. You know, third and fourth largest city in America. So everybody should want to come and play at Texas Southern in the SWAC. And so saying that and having players like we have, uh, they're going to be ready to play, just like PB ready to play tonight. And I thought the second half, we just came out and fall and fall and fall. And I ever start to match our talent. And my job as a leader is to, is to push these guys beyond their ability every single day in practice. So uh, once they achieve and reach their ability, they keep going, keep going, keep going, and close that gap between potential and performance. And so we have the potential, and our, our performance has closed the gap a little more. So. But this is just something that I think we, I think it's just the beginning. I think we can go in a tournament and do well. Uh, I'll be very disappointed if we don't go in a tournament and play like we're a championship team. Um, not just be happy. Eric asked me why I wasn't really excited and happy uh, about the win. And I said, we have more work to do. Uh, this, this is a very good basketball team. And when they recognize their ability and their potential, uh, they will go to this tournament and perform well. Mike, for you personally, you kind of hit on it out there. Um, each time you take a team, it, it's special. If it's a different team, you've now taken three teams. Uh, because of your situation, not having a job at the point, and maybe where this program was, is, is that a little bit make this a little bit more special? Well, you know, two years ago, I lost my mom, and I lost two nephews within a three-month period. And then I lost my job at the end of that season. And so um, it was really a tough time for me and my family. And, and when I was out of a job, uh, uh, the AD, the president, called and um, offered me the job, and I was excited about taking the job. And uh, I was surprised when people would say, well, why would you go, go to Texas Southern? I'm like, you know, why not? Uh, they is in Houston. Uh, it's the best job in the league. And, and then third, I didn't have a job. And so coming here, we went on probation in September. Uh, we had seniors, four or five seniors last year that couldn't compete in the uh, conference tournament, the NCAA tournament. We ended up winning the league last year, 16-2, and 12 straight, win, a 12-game win streak. Um, and so I'm just happy about the opportunity. Anytime someone entrusts you with their program to be a leader, then you have to be just that. And so I know some of my methods and some of my lessons I teach these guys uh, make it a little harder sometimes, but the world is hard and the world is tough. And, you're not going to go out and compete against the swag to get jobs in the real world. You're going to compete against the real world. And so uh, I'm proud of these guys. Like really, really, really proud of these guys because they wanted to be coached. They wanted to um, to make that commitment. And some of them has never been pushed hard and loved at the same time. And so that's, that's, that's what I try to do to them, push them really, really, really hard. But once the practice is over with, once the game is over with, they can tell you that I'm that guy who will sit down and talk to him, but then the next day in practice, I want you to give me your total, total concentration, your focus, and your effort. Eric, let's talk about the journey for you. Uh, you know, this has to be gratifying. It's no secret, you've had a couple stops before arriving at TSU, and uh, you put everything into your game, and you showed your leadership, especially when the team was down. They rolled you on into the championship. Just talk about this tournament and how gratifying being a champion at TSU is for you? I mean, I, I think I, I owed it to them because, you know, I was riding them for like the last six or seven games, you know, uh, when I couldn't score and teams were tripling and doubling on me, I would kick the ball out to them and they would make plays. So um, I just like to give a lot of credit to my teammates. Mike, how, how important was it to come out and get off that quick start in the second half? I know it's always important to you want to score points, but how important was it to get out quickly and kind of trying to chase more momentum from where it was? It was important from them standpoint of relaxing our guys. Uh, they believed. They wanted it really, really bad. And I could tell. See, they just, this team, when they're excited, they didn't want to rush things. and uh, They wanted to win. I, I could hear them in the locker room. I could see uh, the way they walked on the bus, walked off the bus, the way they conduct themselves in, 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 in practice in the hotel. It was, it was business. And, uh, I'm just happy for them because they have the opportunity to go play in the NCAA tournament. A lot of players that go to college basketball and never get the opportunity to play in the NCAA. It's the big dance, and as they said, it's, it's, it's one shining moment. So they'll have this 
memory for the rest of the life. We have players that played in the NBA <coughs> venue that would never get an opportunity to play in a venue like this, and Swag put on just a, a wonderful show. We got time for one more question. Jose, talk about probably what this means to you this season. It means a lot, you know. From the preseason, this is this was our goal to win the championship. It wasn't easy. It came hard. Coach pushing us every day, pushing us to our limits, and just us listening to him and believing in him and believing in us and knowing that if we do what is right, we can win. That's it. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you.